AWS X-Ray allows developers to debug and analyze distributed applications. It can be useful for tracing transactions through microservice architectures, such as those typically used in serverless applications. EventBridge supports trace context propagation for X-Ray, which makes it easier to trace transactions through event-based architectures. This means you can potentially trace a single request from an event producer through to final processing by an event consumer. These may be in decoupled application stacks where the consumer has no knowledge of how the event is produced. X-Ray works by adding a trace header to requests, which acts as a unique identifier. In the case of a serverless application using multiple AWS services, this allows X-Ray to group service integrations together as a single trace. X-Ray can then produce a service map of the transaction flow or provide the raw data for the trace. To show this in action, let's look at some sample code available at s12d.com forward slash events 12. This GitHub repo contains examples showing how to use active tracing with EventBridge targets. I've taken this repo and followed the instructions for deployment and already deployed this to my AWS account. This is a reference architecture of the sample application. This is a webhook that's an API gateway endpoint that invokes a Lambda function that puts an event onto an event bridge bus. The webhook application uses a query string parameter called target to determine which events are then routed to these targets after the event bus. So you can route an event to Lambda, API Gateway, or step functions using this sample application. I can use the API Gateway endpoint created by the sample application to send an event through Lambda to EventBridge. And to do this, I'm going to use Postman. So with Postman, I'm going to invoke the deployed URL endpoint for my API Gateway endpoint, and then use this query string parameter target equals Lambda to route an event to this second Lambda target over here. So in Postman, if I just then call this URL, we get a 200 response indicating that that call was successful. Now what happens here is that API Gateway calls this first Lambda function. So if we look at this Lambda function, we can see the code that enables the X-ray integration. This is the webhook code here. And you can see the key part here is we're using the SDK for X-ray when using this to wrap the AWS SDK. This section here creates a parameters object with the payload that we want to deliver to EventBridge using the put events method. Nothing here has to change. All we have to do is make sure that we include the X-ray SDK in the original configuration to, to ensure that the X-ray integration occurs with EventBridge. Now, if we go to the X-ray service, we'll see what happens as a result of that invocation to the API endpoint. So here you can see that API gateway was invoked by Postman that called the Lambda service, which called that webhook Lambda function. That put an event onto the event bus. That routed to the second Lambda function, and that's the service, and that's the function icon just there. So by wrapping the code in the Lambda function, EventBridge will then automatically propagate the trace headers throughout our application. So even though this test application is two separate CloudFormation stacks, when we trace one transaction, it follows through as one single trace across two sub-applications or microservices. So this makes it much easier to be able to trace transactions across a distributed application. Now, if you're using the AWS serverless application model, also known as SAM, to deploy your applications, there's a couple of things to note here too. In any Lambda function where you want to continue tracing, you need to make sure that you add this property tracing active. That will add the necessary permissions to the Lambda function to be able to interact with X-Ray. From the point of view of the webhook, if I look at that template over here, API Gateway, where it's listed here as AWS Serverless API, that also needs a tracing enabled property set to true. If you do both those things, Sam will then configure the API Gateway endpoint to enable tracing and have the necessary permissions to do so. For links to all the resources shown in this video, visit s12d.com forward slash about events.